President Obama's nominee for Attorney General Loretta Lynch faced the first day of Senate confirmation hearings yesterday. If she is confirmed, Lynch will replace Eric Holder, who announced his resignation last year, and she will become the first African-American woman to be U.S. Attorney General. Senators yesterday questioned Lynch about a variety of issues, including marijuana legalization, immigration, and the Fast and Furious program, which Holder had come under fire for. Lynch is a career prosecutor in New York, whose most high-profile case involved the police abuse of Abner Luima, a Haitian immigrant in New York in 1997. While she has spoken out about police accountability, she is pro-death penalty. My guest is Michelle Goodwin. She's a professor of law and chancellor's chair at the University of California, Irvine, and founding director of the Center for Biotechnology and Global Health Policy. She's also the founder of the Institute for Global Child Advocacy and president of the U.S. chapter of Defense for Children International. Welcome to Uprising, Michelle. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, what do you make of the confirmation hearing so far? Uh, she gave her opening remarks where she made a very strong defense of uh, the DOJ's pursuit of terrorism cases uh, and talked about having a good and important relationship with the police. Uh, but what about the questions coming? Uh, Senator Lindsey Graham had questioned her about polygamy, of all things. Senator Grassley asked her about the Fast and Furious program, which she was not even remotely involved in. Yes, no, this, this is very true. So this is a process where the Republicans are flexing their muscles. Uh, this is a, a process where Eric Holder has become a, a punching bag, and it's been very important for Loretta Lynch to uh, distinguish herself and distance herself from Eric Holder, which uh, significantly is what happened uh, yesterday and continuing today and uh, so many of the questions that were directed at her really had nothing to do with her history as a prosecutor uh, she happens to take a conservative stance on some issues which would be right in line with republican thinking such as supporting the death penalty so it was really an opportunity i think for the republicans to air their grievances against president obama and eric holder Hmm. So in a way, the whole confirmation hearing became about that. And at one point, she was asked if she was going to be another Eric Holder, at which point she said, I will be a Loretta Lynch. Uh, uh, did you think she stood up uh, fairly well to that scrutiny and to these questions? Well, she did. So if you check from the Wall Street Journal to the Washington Post, the New York Times, many pundits say that she did an incredible job. In fact, even people who are online commenting about watching her found her to be very graceful, very sophisticated. She holds her own. And of course, she's had to be a tough prosecutor. And what I mean by tough there is a woman who holds her own. Look, she's an African-American woman breaking into this profession at a time in which, granted, there is an increasing number of women, but still having to pioneer significantly. So she did an excellent job, I think many people would agree, yesterday. It's not to say that she didn't frustrate some Republicans. Uh, for example, Cornyn, uh, he said he was very disappointed with her. Uh, Senator Cruz, I mean, that was just a ridiculous kind of uh, hypotheticals that he was throwing at her yesterday, but she handled them with incredible grace and aplomb. 